any time in the coastal bays up north, and you can't help but notice from St. Albans Bay to Missiscoy Bay, invasive weeds and algae have taken over. Vast blooms of blue-green algae stretch from the shoreline deep into the lake. Once again, here's WPTZ's Hannah McDonald. At the break of day, you can't see it. It's on the bottom in the morning time. But by noon, you can see and smell it. it stinks like heck. Blue-green algae is a regular problem on St. Albans Bay. The Lake Champlain Committee has been monitoring the problem for over 10 years, but scientists sense this year is worse than the last two. We have less local control over the warm water temperatures, but we have been seeing them, so what we have to focus on is what we can control, and those are the high nutrient levels. With about an 8-degree increase in surface water temperatures over the last 20 years, the committee has expanded its citizen-based monitoring program to about 75 people. Brad Gooding is part of that effort. So I come down once a week at 12 o'clock and check it every week. I take pictures, I take samples, I take the uh, water temperature, then I send them in. Blue-green algae is made up of fuzzy green globs of bacteria. When it collects, it creates what are called blooms. The algae are naturally formed by sunlight, warm water, and nutrients, including phosphorus. What we have to focus on is what we can control, and those are the high nutrient levels. That means more controls on farm runoff, more personnel to do um, education and outreach to farmers, more uh, best management practices around stormwater runoff. It's deadly to animals and can make people very sick. Scientists are doing what they can to make people aware of both its effects and where it's coming from. Even when we control what's coming into the lake, there's the sediment still there that has to be exhausted of the phosphorus there. We're making progress, but it's slow. In St. Albans, Hannah McDonald, WPTZ, News Channel 5.